Greetings and salutations, comrades, and welcome to It Moves. This is a random indie horror RPG game I found on uh, GameJolt.com. It is based on a short story that I can't remember the name of because I'm a terrible person like that. But uh, it will be posted right here. Somewhere. Somewhere around my face. There it is. And uh, yeah, that's about all I can tell you about it. So let's... Uh, let's play. Bedtime. Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. I need to find a better way to move this mic temporarily. While some children might complain about being put to bed before they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game. When I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. I love this art style. This is me. Wolf. I love, I'm sorry about that mouse cursor. I love this art style. Holy cow. Um, there we go. Mr. Teddy. Full of toys and stuff. Poster from a movie. I got it for my brother. It's a wolf. Uh, it's a poster of a wolf. It's a bunk bed. I sleep on top. Sorry, the, the face kind of sticks sometimes. A table. A table. Wow, they really put effort into this. Holy cow. This is probably the best looking RPG Maker game I've seen. I cannot prove that what happened to me was objectively real. But I can swear that what I experienced was genuine horror. A fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will relate it to you all now as best I can. Make of it what you will. But I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. Flowers. Mom put these here. Is that a picture? A picture of some mountains. Who doesn't have random mountains posted in their wall or in their house? A picture of a man standing around. I think it's dad when he was younger. This is my father. Shoes. Not very interesting. Then you clearly don't have the right kicks. It's this way. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. I can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with my being moved into a room of my own. This is my mother. A man with a mustache. He's either extremely trustworthy or not trustworthy at all. Just a bunch of clothes in here. Ventilation, I think mom said this is. I think mom said this is ventilation. Boxes full of stuff. And things. Mom told me not to touch her stuff. Especially this stuff. Well, we wouldn't want to upset mom, would we? Nothing too interesting. Okay. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room quite happily with my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk bed the boom. I was given the bunk beds that we used to share. I forgot how to sentence for a minute. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of finally being able to sleep in the top bunk. Who wouldn't be? 
which seemed far more adventurous to me. Dad have anything to say? Dad. Don't go pulling out too much stuff now. It's bedtime soon. Time to go to bed. Oh. He's doing this on his own. Hello? Oh, it's not a phone. All right. It's bedtime. Already? Yes. Adults need their sleep, you see. You'll be sleeping alone for the first time. Are you excited? Yes, Mom. All right. I'm turning off the lights now. Good night, dear. Good night. I have such a luminescent personality. Chapter One Cave. Safe? Oh, hells yes. Is, that is the creepiest bunny I've... Is that a bunny? What is he doing to that tree? Is that a bird? Is that one of those plant things from uh, the Dark Crystal? I think that's the movie I'm thinking of. I know, I'm pro probably mixing things up again. I don't know what that was on the roof. What is that on the roof? That almost looks like that Hail Satan stuffed animal that's so popular over here. For the glory of Satan. That's the entryway door? I like it! A pot and some ragged cloth. I wonder what's cooking. Child. We've stumbled into fairy tale. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell is that? Knocking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it more as intense research on one individual. By the way, your missing sock is under your bed with me. Ha ha ha, just kidding. I'm JK's for days. What is that? A cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the bottom of the stairs. Go down, stay here. Hell yeah, we're going down. There's no way this can go bad. It's the very beginning of the game. Oh, he moved. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going back down. Uh, what is this? Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. I must apologize. I'm losing my voice from uh, recording Ayo Oni earlier today. That game had me screaming so much. A purple mushroom. Definitely poisonous. Ah! Oh! Oh! What was that? You saw that too, right? There's red liquid seeping out from the mushroom hat. Oh, what the heck was that? Okay. Props for the uh for the atmosphere. Holy cow. Oh! Ho 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 ho! Okay, we got puzzle time. Puzzle time. Puzzle time. Well. Alright, so. 
The bottom right inverts the right three. Oh. I knew what I was doing. Okay. There is a very specific word to describe the feeling that I feel at this moment. And that feeling is dread. I'm not really feeling... Okay, I'm definitely scared. But it's not like that El Oni where it's like, Someone gonna hit me? So Okay, now I have that feeling where I feel like something's gonna get me. But it's just dread. I just feel... Dread. Oh, come on, kid, run. He's... Oh! No! 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 Get back! Get away! Get away from me! Oh, what did you do to me? Oh, he just pounced all over my... body. Oh... Oh. Ah! I had a bad dream. Mom? Mom, where's mom? Where's mom? Where's mom? Mom, mommy, 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 mommy. Oh, I had a bad dream. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. Aw, that's too bad, sweetie. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. All right, hurry up, please. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. I don't want to go back in that room. Are you kidding me? That was terrifying. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. Oh, I won't bother you with the details. The, the one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my room until later that night, when it was time to go to sleep again. Hmm. Sweet dreams, you little bugger. Chapter 2, Labyrinth. I love that movie. Jennifer Connelly, David Bowie, um, Jim Henson's son as the voice of Hoggle. That's a creepy smile. Why am I pushing buttons? Oh. Oh, that fr there's a frowny face there. Okay, so that one, no, that one, that one, no, that one, that one, no, I did, I already tried that one and it failed, that one, that one, What is that noise? Some kind of machinery. It looks like a pressure valve release wheel do hickey -ma bobber thingy. Okay. I can already see why this is called Labyrinth. A wanted poster. Who wants what? Ventilation, baby? The air is still stuffy, though. It's not ve very ventilating ventilation. A poster for some concert. It looks old. What is that? Oh! Oh! Shit! No! Whoa! Get off my screen! Oh! No! 
Oh my god, that is terrifying. Oh, it's just like stuck there on the screen. Nothing of interest, I think. I don't want to touch another one of those. What is that black shadow? Oh god, this face needs to go away right now. Oh my god, I I don't want to I don't want to play this. Oh, I don't want to play this. Oh my god, that face. Oh god, that face. Instructions on how to use a fire extinguisher. Uh, puff puff pass, right? That's how you use it? Wait, no, that's that's not a fire extinguisher. Oh, I don't want to... Uh, uh, oh. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, it's getting so much worse. I don't like this. It's it's not like I feel like something's gonna jump out at me. I just feel Ah I just I, I feel like something's gonna like physically attack me from behind. Oh my god that face Oh my god uh, Are you in league with Satan? Ah. Uh, oh. I just I don't know what to say. I'm like having a mental freak out right now. I cannot describe how close I am to just quitting this game and and, and not playing this anymore. With 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 Aoni. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ha! Uh, ha! Uh, When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring. Oh god. Oh god, I... I'm sorry, I really have to calm down. Oh god. It wasn't even that bad. Sorry, my nose is my nose is running. I don't have anything to Oh from the nerves. It can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The bog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears even when lucid. Something was moving. There is no doubt about that. At, at first I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black, but there was enough light creeping in from outside to outline that room. Two thoughts appeared in my mind almost simultaneously. The first was that my parents were in bed because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise. A noise which had obviously woken me. That was it. Bed sheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. As if some disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in that bottom bunk. I lay there in disbelief thinking that the noise was either my imagination or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to sleep the for the night. It was then that I noticed my door shut as it had been as I had fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me and the cat had snuck into my room then. Yes, that must have been it. I turned to face the wall, closing my eyes in the vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. I'm shaking so bad right now. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought that I must have disturbed my cat, but quickly I realized that the visitor in my bottom bunk was much less mundane than my pet trying to sleep, and much more sinister. As if alerted to and disgruntled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently like a child having a tantrum in their bed. I could hear the sheets twist and turn with increasing ferocity. Fear then gripped me, 
Not like the subtle sense of unease I had experienced earlier, but now potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked, scanning the almost impenetrable darkness. I let out a cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted, on my, shouted for my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house. But as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk bed suddenly started to shake violently as if gripped by an earthquake, scraping against the wall. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me, pulling me into the darkness so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. Oh! God! Why? Why? Why did that scare me? Okay, comrades, I have to stop this recording here. Uh, I'm about to run out of time on my camera. So, and I really, really need to go pace a few times around this. <sighs> I'm so freaked out right now. This game is amazing already. I, l oh, I hate this game. I love it. Oh my God, I hate this game. I love it so much. Comrades, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, leave a like or subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, until next time.